woman always uh, has the ability of reasoning. She woman has the ability of problem solving. So AI, it must be a component of AI. AI should do this. Knowledge representation means uh, in what manner the, uh, the knowledge is to be given to the machine. The way of representation of knowledge is called as knowledge representation, which is also one very important component of AI. That means until and unless you give some knowledge to the machine, it will not behave like a human. For example, I want to solve certain problem. For that problem, I design some agent, intelligent agent. So I should give the knowledge to that particular intelligent agent. What knowledge? Knowledge about that problem and knowledge about the resources, knowledge about the obstacles. Everything if I feed into the machine, then and then only it, it can be able to solve that problem. So knowledge representation is one very important component of AI. Planning. Intelligent agent should be able to set goals and make plans to achieve those goals. So planning is also one component of AI. Learning. So learning from the past history is a very important trait of human being. Same we expect from the machine. Machine also should learn from the past history. For example, the machine is there on the 20th floor of your building and if uh, it, uh, it, it need to take the decision uh, whether to jump from the 20th floor or not. If the, in the past history, if the past history like is that, uh, by jumping from the 20th floor, uh, the, there is a loss, means uh, human life is lost. If the person is lost, if this is this history is fit to the machine, then based on that history, percent history, the machine will take the decision. What decision it will take? Not to jump. Because it wants to save the life. Okay, so machine will not jump. Okay. So this is happened or this is possible if the machine has learning ability. So this is also one component of AI. Natural language processing means whenever I speak, I teach you uh, in a lecture. That time, many times I will follow English language, sometimes I will come down to Marathi, sometimes I will come down to Hindi. But you people learn or understand all these languages, all these words and gives me the reply. That means you people process the my natural language. Okay, This is called a natural language processing. So when one human speaks with the other human, that time the second person process the words of first person in the natural language okay same ability a machine should have natural language processing ability so that it can interact with the humans okay machine should be intelligent enough so that it can it can interact with the humans or the problem or the environment okay in which it is working so how it is possible if it has if the machine has natural language processing ability nlp that is why NLP is also one very important component of AI. So AI machine should have NLP ability. Perception. Perception means ability of machine to use input from sensors, microphones, wireless signal, etc. For understanding different aspect of the world. That means your machine, if you have designed some, some machine for some to solve some problem, so obviously you have to put that machine in you have to put that machine into that into that environment in which, wherein the problem is to be solved once the machine goes into that environment obviously machine should have should get the input from the inputs of the environment that means what kind of obstacles are there what is the ambient condition what are the temperature what is the humidity level so how this machine will take this particular information obviously it should have sensors and etc. Sensors, uh, effectors, uh, arms, hand, just like human being. Human being has various organs, sensing organs such as eyes is there, test buds are there, nose is there, ears are there. All these are the sensors. Okay. Based on the input taken or the input taken by these sensors, it goes to my brain and then brain process that particular inputs or the information and based on the processing, it takes certain decision. That means human being takes the decision based on the input from the various sensing organs. Similarly, this same ability we want the machine should have. That is why the perception is very important organ or component of AI. These are the in diagram I have shown. 
the machine should have reasoning ability, learning ability, perception, it should have problem solving ability and it should have intelligence. So this is all about of today's lecture. We discussed the syllabus of unit number 1, the teaching pattern, the exam pattern. We also discussed the AI definitions. We also discussed uh, what exactly agent is and uh, which are the components of AI.